lovely. Welcome back to the kitchen with Chef Ricardo Cooking Show. Today we're going to give you a nice, lovely escabee salmon. So first of all, I want to simply say to you, I got four pieces of salmon right here, and I'm going to pop a little bit of fish season on it like this. That's some fish season. That's a half teaspoon of fish season sprinkle over it. A little bit of paprika. And also, I got some. This is garlic and ginger, coriander, and also other air season inside of it. But basically, I'm just putting a little pinch. You can use your kind of season when you normally use at your home to marinate your fish and simply marinate it like what I'm doing right here. All right? Second thing I have. Two eggs right here. Two eggs with a little bit of milk. Simple beat it like this. Not too complicated. Yeah, that's finished. Right here I have plain flour and some I just blend up some bread, breadcrumbs. This is some breadcrumbs. I just blend it up inside of my blender. You can do the same thing. Or you can buy a pack of breadcrumbs and use it. But for me, I just blend it up. That's easier for me, you know what I mean? So, as I say, you can do that at home if you want. And you can buy your breadcrumbs. So, basically, what you're going to do, flour, egg wash, and breadcrumbs. And deep fry. Nice. So, as I say, this is... The salmon and we're gonna do some escabee salmon you can marinate it from the day before so first of all what you're gonna do flour like this then egg wash all right after your egg wash breadcrumbs Can just put them at the side. Same thing again. It's only four pieces, as I can see, guys. Basically, um, I have the recipe a long time, and I say I must show the fans I'm about to do this one at home. And then, egg wash, breadcrumbs. The reason why I didn't put any season inside of this is because they know we already put season on the fish and sometimes you have to be careful because it's salt because most of the season got salt. Um, you know the breadcrumbs already make with a lot of stuff so you don't need to put any more. And then egg wash and then breadcrumbs. One more piece left, which need to be done, but we will get there. Look at that, guys! This is just really fantastic. And I know you guys will love it. And then, egg wash. I would say beat the egg a little bit longer. I didn't beat my one too long. Then, bread comes. All right. And just rub a little flour on it just because of the bread comes is finished. Lovely. Um, then then we're gonna do we're gonna simple fry them, alright? Nice and lovely. So as you can see, this is my frying pan with some oil in it. And not a lot of oil just because I'm not frying a lot of fish. So basically it's not too much oil, alright? So now my oil is hot. Um Basically, I'm gonna just pop them in now like this. Come on, boy. Really 
lovely and nice. Uh, we can do this at, for a Sunday dinner or for a function or whatever you like. So we're gonna make that fry for roughly about 10 minutes until they get crispy. Then we're gonna take them out and spin them to the other side. Lovely and nice. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna simply spin them over to the other side. Like that, look at that beautiful color. Wow, that is fantastic, guys. But be careful, don't burn yourself. I'm not gonna spin them over here guys please because it's really really hot. Turn on my stove a little bit. That's when I want it to be too dark. But as you can see, they're looking lovely and nice and that's the color what you want, this color. and lovely so these ones are finished though guys as you can see roughly really nice and lovely as you can see this is exactly what chef is all about it beautiful this could be summer lovely so we're gonna salt take off a few peppers and some onion to put on top of the, the salmon so I put a little bit pinch of olive oil inside of the frying pan nice and lovely so as you can see the others gonna put in 
a little bit of white onion and a few mixed pepper not too much and some spring onion and a pinch of crushed pepper Pinch of sugar, few pieces of lemon, Now this is finished. Could add some hot peppers and bits and pieces, and that's the way how it looks. It's lovely and nice. So hopefully we'll enjoy the recipe. Subscribe to the channel and please leave your comments. It's gonna be salmon. You can do this at home for you and the family and the kids. Enjoy. See you next time. Bye bye.